certified most accurate. Now your first Warren 5 forecast. A good Wednesday morning. Meteorologist John Gross here with your first Warren 5 update. Let's talk about many topics coming your way over the next 24 hours. It's a rainy start out the door for this morning. There even could be a little bit of mixed precipitation into some of our northern communities and even into the tip of the thumb. So that's what we're going to watch at least for the first half of today. Winter weather advisories will still hold for Roscommon, Ogama, Iosco and Alcona counties until 2 o'clock into the afternoon. That's where we're anticipating, if any, uh, snowfall accumulations and or maybe some light icing accumulations. The good news is by the afternoon, that uh, looks like we'll start to be in the melting process from anything that we do receive from earlier this morning. And for the Rifle River, we have upgraded the flood watch to a flood warning. We're anticipating that river to crest or at least reach flood stage. Uh, it looks like by Thursday morning, anticipating the rain that we have already received and what we're looking to uh, accumulate as we go throughout not only today, but even as we go into the day tomorrow. So the hour by hour forecast, at least for the rest of the early morning 8 9 near 10 o'clock. We've got the rain to hold on to again, even a little bit of mixed precipitation into some of our northern communities. Uh, looks like we catch a little bit of a break. It's not going to be an all day rain today, so there could be some dry time, especially as we get closer into the afternoon. But it does look like by the time we reach dinner time tonight, depending if we do get a few rays of sun in the mix closer to lunchtime, just adding some more instability to the atmosphere. So we will keep the chance for a few thunderstorms as we get closer to dinner time tonight. Looks like six seven eight nine o'clock is going to be the best time for that heavy rain as well as some gusty winds and even some hail look to be the main threats there as we continue on throughout the rest of the evening. We lose any of the strong to severe threat past midnight tonight, but the area of low pressure that has been producing all of the rain that we've received will continue to hang out pretty close to mid Michigan. So we'll hold on to the chance for a few more showers as we go into the day tomorrow and then even some colder air on the backside by late Thursday evening could briefly change us over to some more mixed precipitation. So this is one of our first severe weather outlooks of the season. It's a marginal risk, mainly for our southern communities. Now it looks like our main threats here again are going to be some heavy downpours. Wind gusts could be near 60 plus miles per hour and the hail reaching near one inch in diameter. Tornado threats going to be low, but not zero. But I think your main threats are going to be the first three right there in the hazards. Again, that best timing is going to come later into the afternoon and evening for your Wednesday. Now, as we take a look at the rain predictor on top of what we have already received. Looks like we're going to add about another inch, possibly up near two where we see some locally heavy amounts of rain that's going to be embedded within possibly some thunderstorms that we can anticipate for the second half of today. Here's your forecast as we're going throughout a Wednesday. It's back in the 40s by the afternoon. It's going to be a windy day on top of everything. Winds today from the southeast about near 10 to 20 miles per hour near 35 gusting near 40 39 for the overnight low tonight with more showers as we continue on in throughout your Thursday. There it is. Seven day forecast. We've got the soggy conditions holding on for Another day into the day tomorrow, Thursday 45 on Friday, a few more lingering rain and snow showers. And then again on Saturday too, near 40 and cooler conditions. As we go into next week, temperatures there in the 30s. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go and online for more news and weather updates.